Welcome to this video. Myself, Mr. Deke Lake, working as a lecturer in Electrical Engineering Department. So today, we are going to learn about the practical of fluorescent tube light working. So in the old days, this type of tubes are widely used. So before studying this practical, we should know about the practical significance. So fluorescent tube lights are widely used in residential, commercial and industrial installation for illumination purpose. So therefore wiring, testing and fault finding of fluorescent tube light is very important. So in this practical, our practical outcome is to prepare fluorescent tube light fixture wiring and we have to test it. So before studying this practical, all we should know about the troubleshooting charts. So when the tube light fails to start, it means the possible cause is tube burnout. So remedies are we have to replace that tube light. If the defective choke is there, then again we have to replace. If defective starter is there, then we have to replace it. If line voltage is too low, then we have to call the power utility. If open connections are there, then we have to check for the open connection. Now, next we have, if the tube light flickers or blink, it means the line voltage is too low. So these are the different uh, remedies uh, and we have to work on it. If the uh, end of tubes are black, means tube burnout and short circuited choke, we have to replace that choke. Okay. So short life of tube means uh, this is possible due to the excess voltage. We have to check the voltage. You see the connection diagram of this tube light. So here you can observe that in series we have connected the choke. Then here we say that th these are the two terminals of tube light and here on the other hand. So uh, out of these two terminals we have connected one choke and another terminal we are going to connect to the this starter. Okay, so starter consists of uh, this is the starter we are going to see after the practical. Then uh, second terminal of starter we are going to connect to the another terminal of this tube light or tube rod and from this remaining two terminal we are going to connect to the switch. So this is this actual circuit diagram. So in this uh, next diagram uh, we are going to test that choke so with the help of test lamp. In this diagram you can observe that we are going to take uh, test the starter with the help of test lamp and in the last we are going to check the tube rod ok so these are the testing we are going to carrying out now we will see the actual performance which is of electromagnetic time this is the choke then this is the starter ok and uh, nowadays this electro electronic type starter is used commonly it is known as the ballast ok now we will see the on our setup ok now I request my student to do the connection for test lamp. So here we have prepared one test lamp. This is going to be one phase and one neutral. So from this three supply, three phase supply, we are going to take it out one phase and neutral. Okay. Now I request to switch on the supply. Okay, now supply is live. So here I have tested the test uh, test lamp is working okay. So here we can uh, test this choke again. This is also we are going to check. If this choke glows dim, it means that choke is okay. If that choke glows brightly, it means that choke is short circuited. If choke does not glow, it means choke is open circuited or choke is faulty. Now you test the Choke. Okay. Choke glow dimly. It means this choke is in working condition. Okay. Now we'll see this choke also. Here we can perform the practical. Yes. See the result. Choke is also in dim mode means choke is working now we we'll test starter here you can see the starter if this uh, lamp flicker this lamp is flicker it means choke is okay else choke is C you can observe okay. lamp is flickering so it means the starter is okay okay so for our practical we have tested it now request to stop the supply so 
now i am going to connect this glass rod uh, this huh, is holding hand now i am going to check this glass rod okay yes check on this one i am going to check this glass rod so here yes lamp is on means glass rod is in on condition now i'll take uh, check the another terminals okay glass rod is also on now i am going to do the assembly so here motherson supporting uh, holders are also available now i am going to fix it then yes now i am going to connect this to the light okay so connections are uh, made here now observe the connections are ready so we did connection according to our given instruction now turn the supply okay yes this means our tube light is working so uh, the testing so in the previous uh, we did the testing on this tube uh, light uh, tube light so now what is this is the electronic ballast type so this is the electronic ballast here you can observe how it look like here we have the phase and neutral and these are the two other two terminals now what is electronic ballast is also replaced with the led tube lights okay so this is our third tube light is of led okay so this led tube light is also everywhere nowadays it is used it is of 18 thank you for watching please like share and subscribe